Check this out. <laughs> That's a beast. <laughs> wow. Be eating good tonight. Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong and have some fun footage of offshore fishing while using inshore tackle. I was down at Marco Island with some buddies and uh, had an amazing trip. I ended up catching the two biggest red grouper I've ever caught in my life and caught 10 species in total, all using just one lure. And this is the Power Prawn USA, the new lure we have on some Haas football jigs. This thing was amazing. We had four of my buddies out there. One was throwing squid, two were throwing vertical jigs, and then I was throwing the Power Prawn USA and it was an absolute blast. So what I'll do is I'll show you the footage. And at the end, I'll talk about the tackle and why this lighter setup, at least why I believe this lighter setup helped me have an advantage over the others using heavier tackle. So let's get started with the footage. So here's the start of the fishing. We basically went out to this reef. We're at 40 feet of water. Uh, none of us had ever been there before. My buddy John's brother, Bo, gave the coordinates and just said to go out there and just drift it. Then there's a lot of red grouper and you use jigging spoons. And so that's what we did. We didn't have any live bait. This is one of the first fish that I caught. This was a yellow jack. First time I've ever caught one of those. That was cool. And Bob up front, he was using squid. And then we had uh, two others using the jig and spoons and I had the Power Prawn USA. And so we started plucking off fish immediately. Uh, at first they were small and we just kept drifting. We kept marking spots. And then we would go redrift the areas that had the most good spots. There was a yellow tail that the Power Prawn USA caught. And, uh, and really, it was just a lot of action, a lot of small stuff, you know, mangrove snapper, um, lane snapper, smaller red grouper, and, uh, and just really just kept just kind of figuring out exactly where most of the structure was. And here's a look of the retrieve I was doing with the Power Prawn USA. I would basically cast it up current and then just let it go all the way down the bottom and just slowly jig it and wait for the strikes. There's a little bit bigger fish here. Ooh, -hoo. there might actually be a cobia that's coming up. Yep, cobia. It's a short one, but it's the right species. That's cool. Heck yeah. Oh, there he is. Quick release. Yeah, it's just bouncing the bottom. Oh, mangroves. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. There we go. There's a matter of time. We've got one of these guys. Nice keeper snapper on the nub. Without the tail, they're still hitting it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pushing a little over 13 to 14 range. Pretty sight right there. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Keith. Oh, that'll definitely keep. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice work. Oh man, this is a beast. Nice. They're hitting the nub too, that's crazy. So after a lot of fish, the, uh, something got the tail off. And, and as I mentioned, the nub lure, that's the tailless power prawn. And that was actually getting some great results. There was a porgy. And then here's when I finally got into a really nice one. Oh, there we are. Oh yeah. Get him off. There we go. Woohoo. Get him off the bottle? It's it's moving, so I just hope it doesn't find a home somewhere else. Ooh, this is a good fish. Got him? Yeah, it's off the bottom now. Oh yeah, red. Heck yeah. Nice. Damn, oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Power front. That's a beast. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Let me get a picture of that thing. Dude, that was awesome. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a good one. Dude. That's a good fish, Bob. a solid one here, too. What do we have? Another red? So what we found is that the lures were actually outperforming the cut bait as far as getting keeper fish. And so we really all switched to lures and just kept catching fish. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this was off the bottom. So it might be even one of those jacks too. It's not, it's not as big as that earlier grouper. 
This thing was fighting like he was a whole lot bigger than he is, but still a solid one. This thing slammed it. Pretty cool. Oh, golly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big fish here, fellas. Oh, man, this is heavy, whatever it is. This could be Cobia, too. Oh, no, I made his group. I think it got me in a hole. He should be, but I mean, he's, he's got me rocked. All right, he's off. He's off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he's back in. I can make an argument. Oh, I had him out a third time and it finally broke. He rocked you up. Dude. That was a big fish. Dude, that thing was all, this leader is all gnarled up. So shortly after an amazing thing happened, Bob was reeling up a, a mangrove snapper and a giant grouper chased it up. Oh my God! Whoa, whoa, yeah, that, yeah, put it back down, put it back down. That was my grouper was trying to eat the snapper. Oh, he spit the hook. Look at the fuck. Oh my God. That was crazy. That was awesome. I think I got that on video. So check out the slow-mo. This is a keeper mangrove snapper and this is a giant red grouper came up this is over 40 feet of water it came up to the surface and tried to take that mango snapper down that was absolutely amazing i've never seen that before there he is oh yeah heavy fish here we got to have this fish is this going you <laughs> this is definitely a heavy one woo hoo hoo <laughs> you got him up nope nope <laughs> Come on, get off that bottom. Oh, yeah. Is he off the bottom? No, I don't think so. He's just ripping line now. I get I get five feet, he gets ten. All right, I think I'm getting off the bottom now. Looks like a red grouper. Oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> How the size oh of that. Oh, my God. This is the biggest one yet. Got him. Oh Check this out. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Dude, he mashed it. They're that crushing thing. it. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Right down there in this hook perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> this is silly. That's a heavy fish there. Oh, I see it. That is a fire truck. It's foul hook. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's see here. Dude, that's a nice fish too. <laughs> that thing. That's easy keeper. All the hooks are in that thing. So that was the final grouper for our limits. So we went to a different reef looking for some different species. It's either a cuda or the biggest kingfish I've ever seen. Oh, I feel like that has to be a cuda, right? It has to be a cuda. Yeah, it's cuda. Is it? Oh, it's a beast though. It's like a six foot cuda. <laughs> See how shiny it was? Oh man, I thought that was a king for <laughs> Look at the size of that. That is a new record on the power prawn. Look prime. at the power prawn sitting on that thing. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> That's a big coon. Wow. Whew, ready for more. This thing's been on fire today. So this is a wreck in about 50 feet of water. I was hoping to get some gag grouper, so I was just bouncing that power prawn all around the reef and all of a sudden it got into something really big. Oh, oh. This is down deep. Ooh. Dang, I don't know what this is. Ooh, man. Oh, that could be the cove. Big cove. He got you on the wreck? Not yet, but he's got to be getting close to it now. Oh, get him. Get him up. Oh, yes. Come on. I want to see it. Oh, snook. <laughs> What's a snook? No, another one down. Something followed it. Oh, what is that? Is that another snook? Oh, no, there's a cuda. There's a cuda. That's a nice snook there. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> that, That's awesome. My, 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 my. Uh. Hey, hey, it's a thick one. <laughs> look how thick. So here's a look at that snook. Really cool catch out there. I definitely was not expecting one to be that deep. That was the final fish of the day released the snook and headed back in to clean the fish. Wow, we'll be eating good tonight.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that footage. It sure was a fun trip. And so I'll talk about the tackle and, and why I think this lighter setup actually had the advantage over the others. And it was really about, it was all about feel. It was about feeling the strike zone and just maximizing my time in the strike zone. And so what I did most importantly is I had this Power Prawn USA and I had it rigged on a, a weight on a jig head that was heavy enough to get it down to the bottom and stay on the bottom during the retrieve. So I was able to maximize my bottom time with this setup. It was the Haas football jig. This is the new jig head we have and we made them for these Power Prawn USA lures. This is a three quarter ounce football jig and I put the Power Prawn USA, the original size, this is 4.3 inches and this has proven to be just an absolute deadly combo when fishing the near shore and offshore reefs as well as fishing inshore bridges. This has been just dynamite and again it's all about maximizing bottom time and so the fact that I had it rigged up on this, this lighter setup so everybody else was using much bigger reels, you know, 4,000, even 8,000s. And uh, so I just had a little 3,000 in this inshore rod. This is a rod rated for 10 to 20 pound. This is actually a custom rod that we're working with mud hole and having a, a little bit tougher rod for, for fishing inlets, bridges, and then again, situations like this. This rod is a fast action rod, 7.6, rated for 10 to 20 pound braid. I had 20 pound braid this day. It was 20 pound Daiwa J braid eight grain. This is a strong line. It's been proven to be abrasive resistant. And then I had it on this 3000 size reel. This is a Daiwa BGMQ. And this setup, even though it's light, right? This thing packed a punch. It handled those, those keeper size grouper great. Handled the overslot snook great. Handled that giant barracuda. And this is really just proven to, even though it's a lightweight setup, it can handle some big fish. And again, the fact that this lighter setup enabled me to have better feel of strikes in this thinner line helped me get down deeper more efficiently that's why i think that this setup helped me have a leg up over the others just again maximizing the bottom time and maximizing the feel of strikes and so if you need any of these items we have them on our website fishstrong.com except for this custom rod this is something this is a prototype we're going to have it hopefully later this year this thing has proven to be great uh, but again fishstrong.com is where all this tackle is most importantly, make sure to try out these prawns. These things are awesome. This is definitely my number one most trusted lure of all, uh, both inshore and offshore now. Um, so highly recommend giving it a shot. I can't recommend enough. And I'll put links down below. And for you Insider Club members, you can get significant savings on almost all of this tackle. And most people end up paying for their entire membership just from the savings on tackle alone. So that's it for now. Any comments or questions, leave it down below. I'd love to hear from you. And just know that we're gonna be doing some more near shore and offshore fishing like this. We've had a lot of recommendations come in from, uh, from members. So more coming soon. I just wanted to share this, this video. It was just such a fun trip. And again, I just really hope you enjoyed watching the footage. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again soon.